been asked over and over again to do a live feed on how to put an older baby to bed. So we're going to pretend that this baby is called Sally and she's nine months old. So at nine months old in Victoria, at this time of year, the bedroom is roughly about 20 degrees. So that's what we're going to work with. So of course, the first thing we'd look at is your cot. Make sure the slats are the whole way around. I won't bore you with that again because I do it in all my feeds. Mattress protector, you need to remove any mattress protector you have replace it with the Save Our Sleep mattress protector or a cotton towel. You cannot get the weighted blankets on your baby if you were using another brand of mattress protector. Now, this baby is nine months old, so we would have her in a long sleeve bodysuit. That's something that looks like that. We would then have her in a baby grip. Whether you want feet or no feet is personal choice. So, it won't make any difference because the baby is in a sleeping bag. Uh, some people prefer no feet when their children are walking, but it's personal choice to whether you want feet or no feet. So because this baby is nine months old, she's in a long sleeve bodysuit, then a baby room. Then we're going to put her in a 2.5 safe sleeping bag. Now you need to remember that with my safe sleeping bags, they're 2.5 after they're washed. Mine are measured warmth. The TOG rating is after they're washed. So the 2.5 TOG means it wants it's washed and dried, it's 2.5 tog. Now, people get very confused with the sleeping bags because they look at the sleeping bag on the website and it gives you the length from the shoulder to the base of the sleeping bag. So this is our eight to 24 month one. After you wash it, it's gonna shrink about that much. So then that would be the length. Now people put their baby, they get their book out and they measure, they look at what length their baby is from the top of the head to the foot. And then they say that the sleeping bag isn't going to last their baby long enough. Well, they're forgetting that you don't go with the length of the baby because the baby's head is up here. So when you look down on this, if Kate can bring it over and look down on it, the baby is in the bag. So it's got all of this growing room. Look, so really, Remember to measure your baby from the shoulder to the foot to know what size sleeping bag your baby needs. Don't measure, don't go with the length of the bag because you're forgetting the head of your baby. So we're putting our baby into a washed 2.5 tog sleeping bag. Before it's washed, it would be six tog. So it's 2.5 once it is washed. Other sleeping bags on the market might say that they're three tog or they're four tog but once you wash them they become half now what do we do with this baby because we know to put the feet of the baby at the end of the cot if you put the sleeping bag over your baby like this your baby is now too warm so you move the baby up a tiny bit and you put the sleeping bag under your baby like so i recommend the avon thermometer because it can be in the cot not with your baby, but before you put your baby in the cot, it can be in the cot. Then you can pick it up, it's 20 degrees in the cot, then you take your thermometer, you put it on the shelf in the baby's bedroom, and you work out the bedding for 20 degrees. Now, I tell you to put a sheet on your baby, doubled over. So a sheet folded in two. The sheet doesn't add any warmth, but the sheet protects the blankets from getting dirty so you don't have to wash your blankets as much. I cocoon, which is like this, which I will explain why in a minute. Now with the blankets with this age group, with the blankets with this age group, people often say they find it difficult to get the right amount of layers on. So watch what I do. This blanket is one blanket folded twice which gives you four blankets. I put the first blanket on in that direction. I take my second blanket. This is the new beautiful heirloom blanket, which is just about to arrive. Our air freight is about to arrive, so anyone who has them on pre-order will be getting their air freight next week. Beautiful, soft, silky, favorite blanket. Anyway, I take this one, and I don't put it on the same way. I put this one on the opposite direction to give it length. See that? 
So I put it on the opposite direction to give you extra length. Good tip for one year old, two year old, 18 month old babies. One that direction, then one that direction. So one layer that direction, second layer that direction, next layer that direction. You'll get extra uh, blanket coverage that way. Now, we put three blankets on, each folded twice. Today I'm going with 12 layers. Normally in Victoria at this time of year you'd need up to 15 layers but for the sake of this video I'm going with 12 layers. Now, I cocoon, which means I take the blankets and I push them into the side of the baby. I bring the blankets right up to the baby's chin and I cocoon because if you cocoon no curled air goes down. Now why do I cocoon? And other SIDS researchers, apart from myself, tell you to tuck in. That's because if you use polyester blankets, or you use wool blankets, or you use cotton blankets that are of a different type of weave, they're not breathable. If a non-breathable blanket goes over your baby's face, they cannot breathe. They're at risk of a SUDI, sudden, unexpected death, is what SUDI is. I know that my blankets are safe. So I get you to cocoon because we're using my blankets. If they went over your baby's face, your baby can breathe. Now, if you cocoon, no curled air goes down. If you, oh, there's an earwig. <laughs> if you tuck, cold air goes down here. See, Kate? So cold air goes down. If you cocoon and your baby gets cold and rolls over, then your baby will roll out of the bedding. If you tuck the blankets in like this and your baby gets cold and rolls over, they're trapped on their front. Now I get asked over and over again, do you do this with the blankets? No, I do not do this with the blankets. I take the baby's arms, I put them down here. Remember, babies following my routines are normally wrapped for about 10, nine or ten months, you put, they're used to having their arms in, I put the arms down like that. Now, people say, but my baby pulls their arms up. That's okay. They can pull their arms up, like that. But I don't put the arms over the blankets. I put the blankets over the arms, like so. And if they choose to move their arms, and you know, it means the blankets put a little bit more air in, that's all right. But I start off with the arms like this, like this.